Ankle injuries are some of the most common injuries, not just in athletes, but also in the everyday people. Well, thankfully, we have Dr. David Su, orthopedic surgeon from Glen Eagles Hospital, to help us understand a little bit more about it. Thank you, Dr. Su, for being here. Now, from what I understand, the twisting motion of the ankle is what causes most of the sprains and the fractures. So can you just walk us through what actually happens when you twist your ankle? Yes, absolutely, Su Wen. When we twist our ankle, forces are being applied to the joint and this force can be taken up either by the ligaments or the bone. The lig ligaments act as a rope around the joints which stabilise the joint. They stabilise it in daily activities like walking but especially during activities of high intensity like sports. Okay. So when the twisting force is being taken up by the ligament and it tears, that is a sprain. If the force is taken up by the bone such that it breaks, that results in a fracture. The ligaments and bone are very nearby to one another, so sometimes it's not easy to tell them apart, but a medical practitioner should be able to help. Okay, well speaking of uh, sprains and fractures, what is the first thing you should do when you do fracture or sprain your ankle? We tell our patients to practice rice therapy R stands for rest, to avoid painful activities. I for ice, to apply a cold compress. This brings down the swelling. Mm -hmm. C for compression by using a bandage. And E is for elevation. Elevation means elevating it as high as possible, ideally higher than the level of the heart. Beyond 48 hours, ice alone is less useful in reducing swelling. So we teach them to do contrast baths alternating ice and heat therapy so as to reduce swelling. Uh, let's talk about some ligaments here. So the peroneal tendon, from what I understand, uh, stabilizes and support the ankle. Um, if you do have severe sprain or have sprained your ankle many times, can that lead to tendinosis? And if so, how can we treat it? Yes, absolutely. So first of all, peroneal tendons run on the outside of the ankle joint and they stabilize the ankle. When one is actually going through a twist, the body by feedback mechanisms will fire the muscle and tendon to prevent you falling. However, if the forces are very, very great, it will actually result in tears of these tendons. If the tendon isn't torn and is still intact and healthy, strengthening this tendon through exercises can overcome the ligament tears and give stability to the ankle. However, repeated twists or a very severe twist can also tear the peroneal tendon at the same time. However, the leading cause for peroneal tendinosis in our population is probably being overweight. Okay, so you recommend for people who are uh, overweight to do more of their rehab, do more strengthening exercises so that it doesn't happen to them as often as it would? Yes, absolutely. Okay, Dr. Sula, I have one last question for you and the most important question is um, give us three tips on how to prevent ankle injuries. Ease back into sports gradually after an injury. Mm -hmm. Do good rehab, especially to strengthen the peroneal tendons. And if in persistent pain, seek medical advice. Great, thank you, Dr. Sue. Well, I hope you picked up some useful information from Dr. David Sue. Watch out for more videos on sports health brought to you by Glen Eagles Hospital.